Hey everybody. So if you've been paying attention, you've seen some of the videos that I've been posting um, on behalf of our company. And uh, one of them, uh, the first one actually in our series called Why the F*** is uh, something that I wanted to create to follow entrepreneurs. Um, I am uh, big on um, anthropology and following the, the career, the path, the journey of the entrepreneur. Um, it's a very interesting path. It's not something that everybody um, has a stomach for or has the interest in doing. Our segment today uh, is going to be with a gentleman uh, named Hakeem Lawal, and I've known him for three, four years now. And he started the company about three and a half, four years ago. And his company is a custom clothing uh, tailoring company, menswear, called Afari Hara. So I'm a huge fan. Um, he's got tons of fashion sense. He's got tons of style. He's a true gentleman. Since we're all trying to get back to some level of normalcy, I'm working in my office today. Um, I'm not in my pajamas, clearly, so that's a good sign. Uh, I've been wearing t-shirts for the last three months on calls, um, and so I think it's time to learn how to tie a tie again. So today, as part of our discussion, Hakeem is going to teach me how to tie this puppy properly. Um, a couple of different knots I think he's gonna teach me today, so I'm excited about that. Got a mask here, I'm gonna take it off because I think we're safe. But I gotta say, this is probably the coolest mask I've ever worn. Makes me feel like a superhero. Thanks, Anthony. Um, actually, we put in a lot of uh, work in getting uh, this mask done. Um, as you can see, it's fully functional. Comfortable, Great. it's breathable, and the yep. one that you're wearing is actually a water repellent, and you've got the adjustable strap right Great. here. Let's undo this. So, rule of thumb when you're sitting, so you just undo. Okay. It just allows you to relax. Okay, good. So we've known each other for three and a half, four years. Yeah, about uh, that. Yeah, yeah. I first, I remember when I first met you. It was at a coffee shop, and we were chatting about your business, how you just got it started. You started it uh, as a small company here. You've grown it now, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, but I was always fascinated with the story and how you got it started on your own. Um, and you're always a fashionable dude, and I got tons of respect for you. And, uh, and you actually keep me clothed, you keep me dressed well. Um, the suits that I have are all from you. Um, this, and I get stopped all the time in regards to this one suit in particular, this one. And that suit is by far one of the coolest suits I've ever had. So uh, people ask me all the time, so I let them know that I got it from you. I let them, I send them to your website. So I hope that you've, uh, hope you've been able to clothe them as well. So first off, what does fire hire mean? Wow. Okay, um, it's one of the questions I love to answer. Um, I have a story tied to the name. So I wanted a name that connects back to my heritage. Okay. Um, so I went for a jog. I went for a run that I think it was 2016, yeah, around June. You know, the name Safari and Sahara kept popping up in my head. I'm like, who the hell names your company Safari Sahara? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> but, you know, it dawned on me, yeah. The four quadrants of Africa, you think of the South yeah. Africa, and you think of the East Africa. Right. When you think of Sahara, when you hear the word Sahara, the first thing that people think about are the, you know, the regions, that's the Western Africa and Northern Africa. So both names, Safari, Sahara, they tie properly into my heritage as an African. So. I, all I did was just remove the SA in front of Safari to get Fari and SA in front of Sahara to get Hara. What a great story. I love it. I, lo I love, I love the, the whole anthropology of, of a business and starting it and, and the background and why people, like, you know, like we talked about before, why people did what they did. Why did, they, why did you call your company that? And I think most people know why I call my company Formiga because of the ant and it ties back with Portugal. But um, it's always great to hear, you know, a lot of people pick company names that are maybe just their first name or their last name or whatever, mm -hmm. but when it has true meaning to you, it actually just fuels the passion even more. Yeah. Um, so, originally from Nigeria, okay. um, I came here as an international student in 2002, uh, graduated from the University of Windsor. Uh, I'm a chronologist by training. Okay, uh, okay. So, yeah. Very different path from criminology to men's fashion, right? I moved to Calgary 2011. 
Um, I work with Sinovusa Energy uh, in the asset management uh, department as an abandonment and reclamation uh, analyst. Um, I did that for three years. 2016, when the the oil and gas industry went down south, I got laid off. So it was more of a blessing in disguise for me. Got laid off in April, traveled in April, you know, and started Faria June. Luckily for me, I uh, met my business partner a couple of months after I started the company. So he obviously has different skill sets than you, I would think, um, because everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, right? And in a good partnership, you always have to have somebody who can, can carry those weak parts for you, and you can do the same for them. Um, can you talk about that at all? Yeah, so uh, we, it's, uh, I always say Richard, that's the name of my business partner, is the better half of fire, because uh, when it comes to, because he was already working in the industry, so the technical knowledge, he brought the technical knowledge. And you know, he really helped me working with Synovus Energy. Uh, I was put on different projects, so there's so many things that I learned, you know, working uh, with Synovus that it was, I just transferred the knowledge to right. Pariara. Right. The one of the things I like about your business, uh, aside from the hands-on approach that you, how you guys um, deal with the clients, how you measure, Convenience and confidence, uh, those are the two main ingredients uh, that make Farriera to be the brand that we are right now. We it's contemporary fit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's always been important to us and in everything that we do at Farriera, we make sure that, you know, that personal touch, it's key. I can't build a garment for you if I don't understand your personality. And for me to understand your personality, you know, we, we, I need to be able to have conversation with you. You were vehemently against uh, bow tie, teaching me how to tie bow tie. I never tie a bow tie. Okay. So I always like to buy them, you know, tie. I got one more question for you. Uh, it's a very important question now. You ready? Okay. Oxfords or brogues? There's something neat about wearing Oxford, you know, especially on a dark uh, suit, like a charcoal gray suit. Or you know, dark blue suit. There's right. something neat about it that I feel it caters to that for me. Okay. And of course, you know, if I want to apply some, you know, playful yet, you know, serious and professional, you know, then, you know, I go bro, like the one I'm wearing right now, you can see the socks that I even put on it. Um, <laughs> it's, it allows me to just be free. Right. Yeah, right. but if I want that serious look, then Oxford, that clean look. Yeah, Great. so I am going to show you full wind. Okay, perfect. Uh, you know, so every there's different length of ties, okay. depending, and you will find you'll find your you know the one that works for you, even the fabric of the tie that works for you, because the fabric of the tie, the way you know the thickness can affect you know if you like to do full wind, I would not recommend. A thick, thick tie because it. it's just going to be bunched up. Yeah, not oh, not quite half, but not quite half, but okay. yeah. Okay, so let's raise your. That would help. Yeah. No. <laughs> I have to be ready. Okay. So mind you, I'm left-handed, so okay. it might be just. That's actually that. perfect because I'm right-handed, so it's <laughs> okay. like here. Okay. There you go. So <laughs> now, let me see. Take the top one, yep. over, yeah. and hold it like that. Got it. So, put it inside, and release your end, and have the other the other end. So, remember you were holding it like this? Yeah. With, with, like that? with one end? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, pull this without, while you're holding Got it. the under. So, pull it to one side. Yeah. Because you are going to do this same thing, put it back and go over okay. and put inside. And put it inside. Yeah. So you want to get you want to get like us not like this. So this is what holds exactly. Release it exactly. So you are using the proper tag. You're using the proper tag and I'm okay. So Put one finger in here. Yeah. Over. 
So make sure it's covering the that exactly. Okay. So inside and put it through that hole. There you go, man. Man, it's like a, it's like time didn't pass. But it's beautiful. So before you pull it, yeah. So what I need you to do is release the under, yeah, and uh, you know, uh, pinches. You know, yeah. So yeah. make sure that you properly arrange it the way you want. Exactly. So exactly why it's there, you can also reshape it. You know. So let's put a collar down. It's like riding a bike. I guess it is like riding a bike. So how does that look? Now this is a perfect. Look at that. You know. Hey. We are going to give you us a little dimple. Okay. Okay. So I am going to undo my dimple. Okay. So what I need you to do, just the same way you finessed it while you're wearing it. This is how you're gonna finesse, you know, because everything with style is finessing. So pull one finger and yeah, so just exactly. So this is, again, this is probably one of the best ties I've ever tied and it's all thanks to this guy. Thank so uh, always appreciate uh, getting together with you. I'm so glad that we could have you in here today because with COVID-19, I hadn't seen you in a few months. So it's always a pleasure to see you again. Um, I can't wait to see what else you have on the go and just keep in touch with you. Thanks, buddy. I just got some prompts from the back here. That So it was always, it's always great getting together with Akeem and uh, love catching up with him. Glad we could do it here in the office uh, this time rather than over Zoom. It just wouldn't have been the same doing it over Zoom with Akeem. So um, thanks, Akeem. Thanks, Farihara. Um, we're gonna post links on, on the website and we're gonna post links on this video uh, so you know how to reach him and you know how to uh, become a customer for her. See you again.